So this is what we have. Um, <laughs> it is like 50-ish mm, degrees out right now. And I think I'm going to take the Fury out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, here we go. I got to get uh, Cabbage's bike out of the way. It's so wee. And I'm hitting... Oh, I just got my bike. This bike is really bothersome here. There we go. Put the pegs up. Don't need those pegs. Man, I should like take his bike out once. It is so wee. Just like our garage. So wee. All right, so where am I going to put this? <laughs> I should just take his because I could. He ain't here. He is at work. Man, that's a wee bike. Can get the other one out. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get this out. Didn't sound good. Oh, I'm running over something that does not matter. I swear it's gonna take me like 50 million minutes to get this out. I cover up the stuff at the end so I don't get my bike. That'd be bad. That'd be so bad. Watch my bags. Then I just gotta watch the wee one behind me. So maybe I just back it out all the way. I think I'm gonna hit it. Gotta turn more. You know, I was kind of chilly when I came out here. All right, I'm gonna have to move his. Ugh. Send help. This is taking forever. I wanna go ride. On you, buddy. Maybe I'll just go. All right, here we go. Happy Fury Friday! Miss Stevie here. Just stopped by Eagle, Nebraska to see if we had any mail, but we do not today. So, guys, if you want to send us any swag or stickers, you can send it to Stevie Foe at P.O. Box 261, Eagle, Nebraska 68347. I want to welcome everybody to our channel. So I want to welcome you to our Fury Fridays. This is how our channel started. Uh, but a couple of married folks that decided to start a YouTube channel, I kind of did a little pushing on Stevie's side because he is so funny makes me laugh and I said you should spread that love and joy to everybody else. We never in our wildest dreams thought it was going to grow like it has, but we're good with that. We love sharing content with you guys as we are able to. And uh, yeah, so we started the Fury Fridays um, because this right here is my first bike. It is a 2011 Honda Fury, 1300 cc's I believe. This is my first baby. This is what I fell in love with when I started riding. Never in all my life did I ever think I was going to ride on my own. I have been riding behind Stevie for, gosh, I think the first 14 years of riding. He introduced me to motorcycles. I have never been on a motorcycle before. Um, and I was really nervous about starting out. But, ladies... <laughs> If this is something you've thought about, just an inkling about doing, um, jump on our channel because we have lots of videos as I was beginning to ride and it's all there for you to learn from. I also grew to know and realize that if I feel that way about everything, I won't ever challenge myself. And I kept at it. Um, I have a very patient husband and I'm very thankful for that. Um, but the Honda Fury was my very first bike. I didn't want to jump into an expensive bike right off the bat because I wasn't sure if I was going to do this full, full time or part time or any of the time, right? But I did fall in love with it. I love being on the road. I love having the control. I do trust Stevie with all my heart and all my soul um, as far as me riding behind him. Um, so I knew that he wasn't going to put me in any danger moving forward. So I kept with it. He kept with it. Um, he was super patient with me, like I said. And I don't know if I would have pushed forward or moved forward with it if he wasn't helping me through it. I mean, the best thing ever was he had me learn in a parking lot for a long time. I mean, we live in Nebraska, so we're seasonal riders. I try to ride more now that I know what I'm doing out here. Um, and having the proper gear and the heated gear and so on. Having the Senna connection or a connection and device on your helmets really helped me out a lot because 
as I was learning, you know, I was nervous, just as everybody is when they first learn how to do something, right? But he was always in my ear telling me what to do as I came up to a stop sign or a curve or a corner or anything. You know, if there was gravel on the road, if there was a dead animal on the road, or if there was a person walking across the road, you know, he was always in my ear saying, okay, you need to start thinking about this. You need to do this. This is what your shifter needs to do. This is, you know, and he was talking me through the entire thing. I mean, he did amazing helping me through it and helping me learn how to ride. And I appreciate that and I am so thankful for that. And that kept me going, guys. So as I progressed on the Honda Fury, I didn't want to switch over right away to a bigger bike because A, I wanted to save money, right? <laughs> B, I just wanted to fall in love with riding as I did. And C, we are seasonal riders. So would I want to, you know, jump back on it? I did. I absolutely love riding. I don't don't um, knock the ones that want to ride two up because that was me for several or many years really. I mean I enjoy just sitting back on the back having the comfy seat being able to take a nap when I wanted to or if I wanted to right because um, we had an ultra classic and that was a super comfortable ride. I enjoyed that. I took some amazing, amazing pictures. But he developed a monster, guys, because I'm not saying we haven't had any close calls because that set me back a few a few years right there when we did have a couple close calls. But by being a passenger, I learned so much. I learned um, what the road captains do, why they do what they do. I learned some of the ha hand signals that a lot of the riders do. So as I'm learning all of that, not necessarily caring too much because I'm on the back of the bike, right? But being a passenger is not just being a passenger and sitting there. It's actually watching out for the animals that are going to run across the road. It's watching out for the other stupid people that are driving all around you, not seeing you. Because in Nebraska, since it's seasonal riding, not everybody's accustomed to it, right? So they don't see them 24-7 like you would, you know, say in Florida or California or the southern states where they're riding all year round, right? I got a lot of grief from a lot of people when we started riding as a couple. A lot of people would come up to us and say, but you have kids, you have little kids. That, that did come across my mind saying that I'm not going to do something that I enjoy with my husband, doing it along with him where the kids cannot come with us. We enjoy just going together, being able to do something as a couple, on a date, or a stress reliever, or wind therapy, right? So I know I'm kind of all over the place, but that's that's how Miss Stevie is. I'm always all over the place with subjects and topics, and I hardly ever know what I'm going to talk about when I get on this, on this bike. I will say it's one of the best things I've ever done was riding a bike. I never in all my life thought God would put this into my path or into my life, into my story, but I'm super thankful for it. So girls, ladies, women, or men, <laughs> let's, let's cross those fears off. If you want to ride, do it. Reach out to us, comment. We will answer your questions. We will help you out. That's what we're here for. I think that there should be more women out there riding. It is a man's world, right? But we can change that. And it's fun. I, I enjoy it, like I said before, many times. But this is what I started off riding, was the Honda Fury. And, you know, a lot of people stop me and ask me what kind of a bike this is, because it looks like a chopper. It's because once you learn how to ride, you realize you can ride anything. And that is what is so amazing about riding. I never thought that I could, you know, tackle one, let alone several different kind of bikes. But if you know how to ride and you take the course and you fall in love with it, test them all. Take some time to decide what you want to get. If it's just a little, you know, Kawasaki bike, get it. Learn on it. Love it. You know, it doesn't mean you have to go out on your own right away. I mean, it took me probably a good year to actually get out on the road because I was, I was so so not confident in what I was doing or confident in how I felt like everybody else around me was doing or even if they were seeing me right 
So guys, today it is about 50-ish degrees in Nebraska. It's good riding roads. Um, yeah, it's not always the curves and the hills, but we do have hills, we do have curves. You just have to look for them. But this is super fun. Um, we start, again, like I said, we started the channel because we both wanted to share all of our trips with everybody. And that was when um, we traded in our Ultra Classic to a Road King, a 2016 Road King. And when we did that, we got a free class out of it. And I thought, I'm gonna take the class, right? And I fell in love with it. And the rest is pretty much history. The rest is actually all over our YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so this is the 2011 Honda Fury. But we did powder coat white the wheels. And then we have a new whatever that is down there. <laughs> and then the back wheel obviously is powder coated. Look at look what we have here. Black top double sticker. And then we powder coated the exhaust black. It's a sharp looking bike. It's a chopper looking bike. It is super fun to ride. And I absolutely love it. So yeah guys and girls husbands and wives if you are wondering about getting your wife involved in writing first and foremost my first suggestion would be not to teach her yourself because she might learn a few things that are not necessarily correct but uh, not saying that you're a bad writer or anything but that was one of the best things that Stevie didn't do was he wanted me to learn from the class myself first and then then he would go through some extras at home to help me through writing and being becoming a better writer and just as much as all of our friends right you learn and you meet so many amazing bikers from all walks of life that teach you some amazing tips while they ride. But like I said, if I can do this, anybody, anybody can do this. It is my stress reliever, it is my new job. So guys, if you like this video, please push that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe, but also hit that bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, stay cool, and we will see you on the road.